Shades. Can we talk about Club Shay Shay and Steve Harvey. I don't know what happened with that. Was it was going on with Steve Harvey and Club oh, Shay Shay? That nigga uh, talked about this fucking Steve Harvey, who's notoriously not an interviewed person, chose Club Shay Shay to go to rehash this fucking Bernie Mac shit, and nobody cared about when Bernie Mac said the shit twenty years ago. I heard something about that. They was talking about the uh, his, him, him, him and Bernie Mac beef. Yeah. And he said he he said it was over the uh the order in which they went on the show. He added some new information, but I don't know how relevant it was to bring this rehash this old twenty year ass beef. It, it felt like he was trying to sterilize it and make it less an emotional engagement between him and Bernie and make it a more professional beef. But he also he's also trying to garner favor. In placing uh, himself in a a sympathetic role, and it, it and it's like to what avail? Why? Why now? What? What? It's, it feels real roll outy. It feels real roll outy. Like like he feels like his avenues are coming to an end, and something's about he's about to he's about to go on a promo run. He's about to start doing comedy again because the rest of the checks is drying up. Maybe I don't it, know. It, it, it feels like it. I, you may have hearing it here first that Steve Harvey is going on a on a comedy tour because uh, all that he, TV shit is, is drying up. But he's been he's been on he's been off the road for a while. As, a, as I haven't seen him do stand up in a bit. I haven't seen him do stand up since Kings of Comedy. And, and the funniest shit is before Kings of Comedy, I hadn't seen them since the goddamn Def Jam days. He takes Ooh. hiatus. Ooh, he you takes, know what? You right. He takes hiatus. He may have dropped a few jokes on Showtime at the Apollo here and there, but I haven't heard of him nor saw him uh, comically in those two stints. Like a month. I, I, uh, I know, uh, of, I know uh, of uh, one Steve Harvey special outside of the Kings of Comedy. It's he one. Got, he got that um, God Ain't Done With Me Yet. I actually went to the show to see that. But that was after Kings of Comedy. Yeah, that was way after Kings of Comedy. I don't... What I'm saying, he has these periods Okay, of I, I think I, I remember that. I remember that. The God Ain't Done With Me Yet tour. That was... Yeah, what was well after the Kings of Comedy? He has these long-ass periods of hiatus. Was, 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 was there a special... No comedy, huh? Was there a special for The God Ain't Done With Me Yet? Yes, uh, that yeah. was the one yeah. I saw. I went to the show. I went, yeah, he I said saw he went to the show. show. I seen it. Oh, I thought you said you went to the. When you said the show, I wasn't thinking Chicago. I was thinking um regular person uh, in the world. The thought, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why my I, head I went. Saw, I saw it at the movie theater. He was oh, in the movie okay. theater. <laughs> All right, you went to the you went to the cinema. Yeah. You went yeah. to the <laughs> cinema. <laughs> you went to the cinema, huh? He went on further. He went on further to uh, to say, and like the whole interview felt, excuse me, felt odd to me. He went on further to say that he was the only one that wasn't interested in movie fame and t television fame. He said all these other guys were trying to get into movies, and he said that just wasn't his thing. Could have fooled me because I remember. Uh, I remember a lot of movies that Steve Harvey shouldn't have been in. I remember I him in a lot of movies. I remember Love, Love Don't Cost a Thing. I Love Don't Cost a Thing, in which Love. he was that part in that movie. I remember him being way too old to hang around with some dancing ass teenagers in another yeah, movie. Yeah, that was that. That was that was the one I was gonna reference. Shit, uh, the one, the one he, he was he was he said was, he was said his brother in another movie. Yeah, about to say the one that he was fit fit mildly in, he felt out of place in that motherfucker too. The one was said. Was said the Johnson's family reunion. The Johnson, yeah, that one. He felt oddly out of place in that motherfucker as well. Like, fam, don't tell us that you didn't have aspirations of being a movie star when all you did was try to be in movies and accepted whatever role I think anybody would give you in a fucking film. Because you were bad at it. <laughs> and the funniest shit is that kind of matter of fact, fuck, I didn't even realize why he said that. Because the other part of the beef that Bernie Mac said was he tried to stifle his movie career, his Ocean's Eleven 
Uh, why y'all want? Why y'all want him? He cussed a lot and all the other stuff. Whatever the fuck he's, I don't know what the fuck right. he's. I'm not even gonna work. So, oh, that was me. that was the story though. That Steve was hating on Bernie behind the scenes, saying that he shouldn't be in the movie. You shouldn't give him the looks. Give me the looks. Yeah, it just fell out of place, and now I see why. Because he's trying to again garner sympathy for whatever he got upcoming. But why off the back of his dead friend for 20 years, 15 years, how long Bernie been gone? Rest in peace. Uh, when you when you got Lori and Marjorie out here shopping like they ain't seen a store that they can't they don't want to buy out, uh, you got to keep fifteen thousand jobs. And when they try to move around, you got to do something to titillate people to get you another job to facilitate Rodeo and the like. Titillate the facilitation. 